Don't let this be you. Alright, I'm going to go over a tip here. This isn't me, this is just put in here so you guys can uh, click on my video here. But uh, let's go over a tip that could cost you a catastrophic failure. One simple spacer and a bolt could save your mowers from having a big catastrophic failure. Let's get under the mower and explain how you can use these two pieces to save your life. All right, so a lot of you guys run pulley swaps, which means you've replaced your front pulley because it originally came with a small pulley and you replaced it with a larger pulley uh, and vice versa for the rear. If you're trying to make it go for speed, big on the front, small on the rear, other way you're gonna get obviously slow. So if you've replaced your pulley, you've most likely have a hub a weld-in hub, this isn't the perfect example, but a weld-in hub with an Allen key lock screw that locks onto the key for the keyway, and then usually I have a second one that just locks onto the, onto the uh, shaft. You can tighten those all you want, and you can hope that they'll come, that they'll never come loose, but they can. Now as you guys can see, I'll zoom in here for you. As you guys can see, I have some shafts sticking out the bottom of my engine. This is the engine pulley, this is the weld-in hub, and my allen keys are on the top side. Now, I've tightened those on and I've had them come loose before. Now I've taken off my example here, but with your tiny little coupling spacer, install that over there and then put your bolt in with a washer, thus locking this pulley from coming ever off. Because if this ever backs off, well, your pulley is just going to come off. It's got some speed behind this, this shaft here from your engine. So she's going to want to try and back herself off and then just drop out. And that could cause a lot of issues. It could bend your engine shaft. Definitely going to uh, screw up your pulley. And not to mention any of your clutch system, steering, or anything else in the way. I have a light bar here so it could screw that up. Now this has not happened to me. But I figured that I'd go over this because a lot of, of you guys are doing pulley swaps and I don't know if you guys are adding in this tiny little example. I'll install it here and I'll show you how it works. Right. So we've got the spacer, nice little washer, laid it out in the inside, and the bolt. So you can slide that on, throw this in there, tighten it all up. If your engine pulley lock screws ever do back off, you don't have to worry about the pulley falling off. That is huge. That would be uh, very catastrophic, like I've been saying. So, if that ever happens, you'll just notice that it's kind of getting a little more clanky. And uh, you always should be coming under here. I always tap with a hammer to see if it moves. That's why I'm doing this video too, because I did come under here and tap with a hammer. And uh, it did move, so I figured I'd just go over this so everyone would uh, understand that uh, this is something you should be doing. If you're pulley swapping, make sure you got the spacer. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Quick tips. The mower community needs to get bigger and grow faster. So, uh, yeah. If you guys like this video, look at some of my other videos. I have full build tutorials on how all of our off-road mowers are built. So check them out. Thanks again, everybody. Catch you on the next one.